to understand the craft, you've got to understand the really very, very basic kind of principles of what we're doing. There are seven traditional blacksmithing techniques. They're regarded as, a, as essentially a kind of basic set of techniques that you can... That pretty much all ironwork you see would have been made of a one of or a combination of those techniques. And what you've got in nail making is two of those very, very fundamental techniques. So in effect, if you can master nail making, you are kind of about a quarter of the way to mastering your trade. So the two basic techniques are A, drawing out or making a taper, making a point, and the second one is upsetting or squashing the material to make it thicker. Um, and that's when you're making the nail head. And teaching nail making, A, teaches you how to control the fire, the heat in the forge, because you've got to be quite on it. It's a, it's a fairly thin piece of steel. So it's teaching them how to control, you know, when we cut the nail, we're only cutting, you're cutting kind of four-fifths of the way through. So actually to control your strike, then you put a bend in it, then you've got to put it back, you've got to get the right heat. If it's not hot enough when it goes to the vise, you're never going to, it's not going to, catch you're not going to get a head on it if it's too hot it's going to burn it's all these kind of complex little things if you're if you're trying to learn all that when you're making a knife then it's even more complicated you know and i think it, it doesn't matter if you burn a few dozen nails because it's it's relatively cheap material and it's a really really good way to learn so that's why even in our axe making classes and our knife making classes that we tend to always start with making nails In a day, I can probably make, I think 250 is probably a good day for me. Not so much now, because I'm, I'm getting a bit worn out, but, you know, a few years ago, I would have made 250 in a day, which is about 25 an hour, say, in a, you know, in a, in a good 10-hour day. So the traditional and professional nail makers, their average was about 100 an hour up to more than that, so four in a minute, which is insane. I mean, that level, and also that level of physicality. So making nails is extremely physical. Mm. You know, it's not, you can't kind of stop and wait for your big piece of steel to heat up and then you're on the anvil for kind of a few minutes and then back and forth. It's, you know, you'll have three or four irons in the fire. You're constantly rotating. You don't stop. Uh, and it's part of the pleasure of it, that mm. it's, you know, it's fast and furious. But if imagine someone has to make, you know, they would make a hundred nails an hour. Okay, they're probably using a trip hammer, and they're probably making small tacks and you know other l different bits and pieces. They set up properly, so they were just professional nail makers. That's all they did. But that is a serious strike rate. And if you think an average nail takes a hundred strikes, so two hundred and fifty nails in a day. Is a lot of strikes, twenty five thousand. Yeah. You know, and that's so we always say the average smith would strike somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand strikes a day. That's your kind of decent, you know, eight to ten hour working day, thirty thousand strikes. I mean, it would have been a, such a brutal business being a traditional nail. I think that's part of my kind of interest in the history of the nails and the the, the kind of folklore based around nails. The idea of it being such a kind of, you know, such a humble thing to make, and it's so understated, and in a sense, it sounds a bit airy fairy. In a way, it's kind of really unchampioned as a, as a, as a product, as a as a thing, a beautiful item. You know, if they're made well, 
but also the impact of the you know the people who were making these the value of the nails and I think people always leap to the sort of, you know, the, the kind of hero pieces. And it's, but actually, to be able to make a really, really good nail is a, is a great skill in itself. All my nails have the edges ground off. And that came from when I first started making it, so I wasn't very good. So I used to grind them to make the heads nice and round. But actually now I can kind of, not, but not by any means every time, but now I can often make a relatively kind of perfect nail. But I still grind, grind the edges because it became like a trademark. So if you find a nail with the ground edges, it's more than likely to be one of mine. <laughs>